there were, there were days, a few days, in 2008, and we came very close to having a repeat in March 2020, and uh, uh, we had plenty of money on March 20th, uh, but we were not very, very far away from having something that might have been a repeat of 2008 or even worse. And we have a bookstore here, uh, but the bookworm that's in the other room, and they've got a book uh, called Trillion Dollar Triage. And for those of you who actually like to read about this sort of thing, it's a marvelous account of what took place day by day uh, with the Federal Reserve and the Treasury. And believe me, uh, if the Federal Reserve hadn't done what they did, at least in my view, uh, in a very, very, very short period of time, uh, uh, things could have stopped. Uh, in, in, uh, uh, and I tipped my hat a couple of years ago to Jay Paul for acting as he did. You have to act with speed. I mean, you, it, uh, in the old days when you had runs on banks, uh, back in the 19th century, you know, a line formed, you know, and the bank would go broke. But the fellow would pay out as slowly as possible, you know, hoping something would happen. A Wells Fargo truck or something. Or stagecoach would pull up with a bunch of gold or something, and you'd sweet talk the people into the line dispersing. Uh, in Omaha, in August of 1931, uh, four state banks, so-called state banks, they had a vote in that day, they closed, and the national banks didn't. But they were all broke as of that day. If they, they, no bank can pay off in one day all of its liabilities. But the Federal Reserve is the only one that's good at that time. But I will say, tell you this, Berkshire Hathaway will be there <laughs> at that time. We, we run it on the basis that if, uh, if uh, things just behave slightly, very, if, if, if Frank Paulson, George H.W. Bush, or no, George W. Bush, I'm sorry, and uh, uh, Ben Bernanke and a few people hadn't taken action. We were at that point where the line was formed, except it comes in electronic fund, they push buttons, and, and uh, it's all over uh, very fast uh, if there's a run on a bank. If you ever, if you ever buy a bank, and there's two banks in town, hire a few extras and have them go over and start standing in line at the other guy's bank. I mean, it, uh, uh, <laughs> and there's only one problem with that. After a while, somebody will stand in front of your bank, you know, and then both of you are gone. Uh, but the Federal Reserve is not gone. And the Federal Reserve in the United States can do whatever is necessary. They've got all kinds of rules about can do this or that and this and that. And, and uh, uh, I, one time in the 1980s, Paul Volcker, who was a very honest man, said to me, and I said, you know, what are the limits of, of, of what you can do? And he said, hmm. he, he was a very unusual guy and huge, looked out at me, and said, we can do whatever we need to do. <laughs> And, and that's true, and that's what, that's what happened in 2008 and 9, and that's what happened in 2020, and you hope it happens again next time, but you want to be, we want Berkshire Hathaway to, to be there and uh, uh, in a position to operate when, the, uh, if, if the economy stops, and that can always happen, that can always happen. Some of those cheery words. Um, <laughs> uh, 